awesome tool. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So as you know, we made our own custom wireless charging with just one of those wireless charging bricks, I guess. So we kind of modified it to where it would fit. Well, that's not as powerful as, let's say, the stock OEM one. So we're like, might as well just change them out. See how this one works. And we're going to be showing you how to do this. It shouldn't take too long. So yeah. We're, we're, we're not home right now. So we're kind of doing this on the road. Um, all we had is this uh, spoon <laughs> that we got from... I don't know, McDonald's or somewhere. So we ended up wedging it in here. So now this thing should just come undone now. Let's go ahead, buddy, pull it out. There you go. Yeah, all it is is just uh, these little plastic tabs that hold it in. So what we did with the spoon is, if you notice, it bends really easily. So what we did was we kind of held it pretty much at the end of the spoon and just used our thumb to reinforce it, I guess, and we were able to pry it back. So the way you want to do this is pull this way so i wedge the wedge the, the spoon in and that way it went be careful when they start becoming loose so you don't like i guess just zoom it right off and make let it fall somewhere that you don't want it to go here's the scary part yeah you can put something in there which we're not going to it's going to throw caution into the wind on that one as well so you just got to be skilled that, yeah just mm -hmm. don't let them fall in there So got the screw all right so we got about a dozen screws all lined up around here and you can't forget these five or six and after you take those off this cover should come off and you'll be able to see the old little charger case that we made Yeah, that works really well, believe it or not, except for the iPhone 12. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't because I have a thicker case on it. Um, but, you know, $10 versus 100 or $200. Yeah, that's about $200. Uh, maybe we should have tried, you know, getting a different version of this, a more powerful version. But once this is cut up, I guess maybe somebody else can give somebody else an idea how to make a video. Uh, this is already cut up for this a particular one, so I can't really put another one. I guess I could have glued another one on, but I don't know. This is mechanically held in place. It's not glued on. Yeah, all the all, just the screws, uh, the screws that you need to take off are just these right here, just the ones that hold this on. Take it off. You just squeeze the two, these two prongs and just push down. Oh, by the way, there's these little guides right here, so that helps you and as well as here. It's like that sticking out. You want to make sure that these are all nice and tucked in. That's it. Yeah, you don't want to get carried away with these screws. That just one click. Just okay. one click. Yeah. This is plastic. We already ruined, I think, I don't know, one of these we ruined it when we did the, um, uh, this one. Uh. All right, so once that's in, uh, this thing comes with a little guide that uh, sits right in here and a couple zip ties. We'll show you where those goes. All right, so we got this here through, uh, it goes through this channel right here, and uh, you can just move this up, and uh, it goes up underneath here like that. Anywho, all right. Okay, but let's see here. Take this thing off. Just like that. All right, so we got this on here. Um, got the wire on there. I removed this little sticky thing off of here. And I think this is to kind of hold this on here like this. Um, okay, so this thing comes with a couple of zip ties and uh, we're gonna zip tie. Here, right here, like here? Yeah, somewhere, where in the notch is Where's that notch at? Right in there, so. so here? 
Yeah. That? Yeah, sure. How tight? Like, can I... Very tight. Actually? Tight as you can get it. Wait, that's, that's, I think that's good. Okay, good. It's your finger. I'm try yeah, look how I'm holding it to where it's impossible. Yeah, we don't have any, um, what you call it. Oh, that's, that's butter. Look at that. Yeah. Let's scoot this in there like that. Okay. All right, so when you put these back in and these little things, I recommend using a, a, a hand drill. We already ruined this one and this one right here because if you go, uh, if you use too much power uh, with the electric, uh, you can just uh, ruin the plastic like it. So don't do what we did, but we're going to put it on with the power drill because, you know, I don't learn the first time. So, like I said, we already ruined these two, but whatever. Um, so how tight do you want them to be? You know, until you break it. I'm kidding. You just kind of snug it up, just snug it. That? Yeah, sure. I don't want to do it, I'm going to end up breaking it already. No, just as I was saying not, not to do that, see, I already went too far. So these things pull really easily through and you can strip them. So now you got to take it back apart and get that one out of there. All right, so now we're gonna do is install it back in place. Um, yeah, so just put that on there. There we go, is it latched in place? Okay, good. So you have a little tab right there. That's a lineup tab. So you put those in. You could put this one and, in, it's uh, lined up. Yeah, now it's lined up. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, so you have a line uh, tabs right here uh, when you get this back on, so then it lines up all your screws. I'm gonna end up making one fall in there, I didn't know it. Oh, Mr. Negativity. Push, 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 and all the way he goes. There you go. All right, here's the scary ones. I'm gonna do the scary ones first, get it over with. This is living life on the edge. <laughs> yeah, you can put towels in that thing so it doesn't go in there, but if it goes in there, then you're taking apart the whole console. Well, why did you say that? Why isn't putting one that goes above it? Yeah. Don't mess it up. Is that good? All right, the last one. This is going to be the one that falls in. Yay. Okay, so here's the wiring thing. Uh, all right, so hook those up together, the skinny ones. So there's two skinny ones right here. Uh, those two go right there. This? Uh-huh. No, it doesn't go the other way. Uh, I think it only goes in one way, right? Well, it doesn't go in the other way. How, how much force do I put into it? Can't be that much. Oh, it's going in. Okay. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know either. How am I supposed to know? It's confusing. Uh, I think that's good. Okay, good. Right. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, about right. That's what we're looking for here is about right. Okay, so uh, the white, I'm guessing the white goes with that. What? <laughs> I mean, what? Okay, so stuff the white, that white one in there. I think that's how it goes. This Which seems, way does it go? Like yeah, this? like that. Uh huh. Okay, and then this one goes in there. Oh, this is the, the guy that said he bent them. Yeah, okay, so you gotta be careful with this. Uh -huh, let's push it in there. Well, I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, I think that should be it. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, will catch full car. All right, guys, so we got it all plugged in. Um, so I don't know where the zip ties go. We're gonna put a zip tie right across here to kind of hold this in place like this, uh, is what I'm thinking. This? Sure. All right. So yeah, I don't know. This is all factory wiring, which is kind of weird. I don't, I, you know, I don't know. It's like this. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna zip tie the rest of this together like that, yeah, and that's uh, good. Um, just kind of keep it out of the way and vibrating and stuff. Yeah, it's not really gonna go anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So as you tuck it in, just kind of make sure that these things are out of the way here. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to line the bottom tabs. Yeah, and then these tabs all go in here. Take like that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, start it. hammering? Yeah, hammer it. 
Okay, all the tabs in. I have to test it next. Hey guys, we just got installed and we're gonna show you a pretty cool feature. So let's say you have your coins in here or whatever. It shouldn't really, it's not supposed to charge the coins. So it'll stop charging and it'll come red. And also, there's an on and off feature. So you can have it on off completely so it doesn't matter or you can trust the automatic. Yeah, that will detect it. I guess it, uh, it uh, gets really, really hot. So that's why they don't have that. Uh, oh yeah, and and uh, you know we, we we talked about it, but we didn't really talk about it. Is one of the main reasons that we uh, swapped out of the other one was because the new iPhones, the new phones, um, it just doesn't work uh, as well um, as uh, the old. The old one didn't work at all on the, on the newer, uh, like the iPhone 12 Maxes and stuff like that. Yeah, another cool thing is it's a lot nicer than the old one we had in here. Yeah, it uh, obviously right. This is a Toyota product. So as uh, specifically designed and built um, for this application. See, you just put it in. And it's charging. Yep, the iPhone 12 Max. Well, that's all. We'll see you in the next video. Adios.